and the riddle up here don't change anything or for anything but uh, because it's the same as I said the beginning is, is the same for both of them come on you want it all right that's the second jewel and I don't know if we, if we'll get a key if we, if we, we and I don't remember if we get a key or a chest figure for this. Oh shit. Alright. Now let me think. I think with Leon, if I go back there, it will be open. trophies and in here in this uh, in this uh, med pack right there there are some some uh, first aid sprays and this picture right here is from back to the future 3 I think you can see on the left there's the dog on the right is Marty you can google it if you want to if you don't believe me and that's the magnum Okay, uh, as with the other location, I tried to avoid this one, so we're just gonna push through here, or at least try to push through. Uh, we're gonna take the left side, let's see how it goes. Of course, it would be much better, oh shit, if, uh, uh oh, and I think we're gonna die now. Yeah, perfect. And we didn't waste any ammo. If three zombies gather around you, hey, whoa. wait. If three zombies gather around you, this might have might be a death sentence because I died once like this. Perfect timing to use this. That's one of the keys we need. For for the door and the Leo. for the interrogation room. I at least hope so because I'm gonna go there. Claire, you made it. Yeah. And Claire is dressed up as well. Have you seen a little girl around here? Yeah, you just missed her. Who is she? I don't know. But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Of course. But before I forget, here's a radio. That way we can keep in touch if something comes up. I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Yes, ma'am. All right. Um, in this, uh, in this, uh, what you call it, uh, this drawer, there is an upgrade for our gun right here. Uh, what it does, it makes the gun rapid fire, but we lose our ability to be a gangster. He won't aim like that anymore. And I think, uh, and it also will chew through our ammo, so I think we'll leave it as it is. Because we're gangsters. And they broke the door. So it saved us back then, but then again for what? We didn't have to go through there. But we definitely have to go to the to the garage. Uh, not 
as of now, no. Okay, oh, that's kind of fucked. Because I don't like to leave uh, healing items behind. But our quest items are kind of more important. But soon, as soon as we get down to the garage, uh, this problem should be solved because we will have more space. Oh, we'll get this item first. This, what is this? The horse? No. It's a pawn. So this way is much more important to clear out than the other one, just for the simple fact that you will be through here so much more often. But we'll have to go there anyway. Yeah. Go back there because uh, we need to get something from there. The last piece of our puzzle will be there. Let's save this one for later. We can use this anyway. We keep this. And we take our healing item in case of a case. try. Maybe we could have sneaked by them. We'll try it with this one. Just, you know, just sneak, just be very sneaky and squeaky about this. Okay, he heard us now. Ah, oh, fuck. I could, have, I could have easily let the ammo behind. Why? Wow. Okay. Doesn't matter now. I kind of wasn't watching. Okay, and now will he make it impossible? For, ah, nothing impossible about it. Okay, let's be careful and let's get out of here. You can pretty much play every Resident Evil game like this. Or we'll save up, decide if you lose health or ammo. Both are important. But you have to manage it so that you have a nice balance between those two. And I think if you if you offer up life, a little bit life of your life bar, um, you will have much more benefits later on because you can do much more with ammo than with health. Good. Yeah. As I said, we can leave this behind. And now we will take this way down and I hope this is the key for the room that I have in mind I just have to try it out No, but I don't think so. I think I need the hard key for that door down there. But even if I don't, even if I don't, uh, the door that I can use it on it is, I think, in the room next door right here. This one. Shit, no. This is what I need the hard key for. But 
Then is this the key for the room in the back here? And for the inter interrogation room? Because there's only one other room if it's not this one. Alright, come on guys, come on ghosts, fingers crossed. Yes. But since he, we didn't throw this key away, I think this, this also opens up the other room. Will he jump through here again? Maybe, maybe not. Nope, since we killed it, okay. So now we can backtrack to Marvin's office and I think he will be dead. We don't have to kill him anymore or kill the Marvin zombie anymore. Should be enough. Or maybe, maybe the door opened. I don't remember. No, I don't think so. It's locked, not an electric lock, but one uh, that's locked from the other side. And of course, we can. It will be a shorter way if we go this way, but then again, I try to avoid it. Shit, let me think. Both ways are fucked now. Oh my god. How did this happen? Ah. Shit. Okay. <sighs> okay, let's let's try this way. This this way is not so fucked as the other one, I think. That was a perfect do- oh, yeah. You sneaky son of a bitch. Oh, he's still holding on to me. Shit. Fuck. I was so smart about this. Fuck. Ah, it comes to bite you. It comes back to bite you. Literally. A little, a little, I, I can't say literally. Yeah, literally. Oh, fuck that. Come on, you want it, I know you want it. See, don't be smug about things because they come back to bite you. In every sense of the word. Holy shit! Where did you guys come from? Fuck me! I don't know if I'm hitting anything that one. Shit, I was scared shitless when I opened that door and they... And they just appeared out of fucking nowhere. Now we can throw it away, yeah. Anyone else? Oh, come on. Holy shit. So much for being smart. Alright, let's see what our chest says. Oh fuck, I have basically no ammo for the hand ammo for the handgun. 
Okay, let's reload the shotgun. And we have five shots, which is good. One, two, three or four, which is very, very good. And the last one, which should be the king. Yeah, which should be the king figure. Oh, it's a horse. That will be the horse. Okay, that will be the horse figure. And that we get as last. Ah. Uh, We will be stripped of ammo very, very soon. I don't remember if there's if this room where we got the C4 for Claire, if it's full of zombies still. Only one way to find out. No, it's not, which is good. Um. Oh, we're not taking this one again, no. But there's something in there, and I want to see what it is. Might be some ammo. I tell you one thing, if we would have get, had the, the rapid fire upgrade, I don't think we would have any ammo for the handgun at this point. If it's a healing item, oh fuck, then fuck it. But I'm just curious to see what it is. Oh my god! Shit. <sighs> okay, the music tells me there's something here. The room is full of zombies. Identified two. And he dropped at the pool of blood, exactly at the, at the spot where I thought, oh, I killed him already? Well, no. <sighs> Please stay down. Sir, would you please stay down? And there's Marvin. Fuck. Oh, it's not Marvin, but... I can't let you live nonetheless. Good. Now we can go down to the garage. There should be some ammo lying around here at the same spot where Claire had it. 15 shots. What's this? That's a small key. Yeah. And they stack up, which is also good. They don't take more space than they need to. Uh, yep, that's the way. We will drop the heart key there. Yep, all pretty much set. Let's meet Ben. 
and our love interest for this game. Who could it be? Uh, I think there will be. Aren't there any zombies here? That's odd. Normally this room should have been full with zombies. <laughs> From when they broken through, but I'll take it as it is, sure, why not? Locked for the cross key. Good. Uh, I have to try the scenario B. I'll always mix it up for those two characters. Always. It doesn't matter if I, if I play Claire or Leon. I always mix it up. Double check some areas so more content for you guys I think nothing here okay Oh, I guess we can edit this out. Or not. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give out this mid-roll ad. No way. Don't wanna lose the house. Make way, make way. Fuck! this door open right away or do I have to do something oh, I can check Wow we have so much health items but shit for ammo let's see we have to do is yep okay then it's, it's the same that Claire had, and Billy and Rebecca. Perfect. Ah, oh, we have to reopen this. Still have to get that key card though, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. What? Man, you're a shitty shot, lady. Ada is a gangster too, look at Sorry that. About that. When I saw the uniform, I thought you were another zombie. Who are you? Ada Wong. And what are you doing here? I'm looking for some guy named Ben. He's one of those reporter types, always looking for a scoop. I heard he was locked up in the cell block, only there's a wrecked car barring the entrance. I've been trying to find another way inside. If we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you? 
Step away, lady. I'm doing this by myself. Just so you know. Let me just get some momentum. And I'll show you what a real man can do. Come on, come on. Legs, don't fail me now. Come on. All those squats. Oh shit. She's pushing, pushing it. Ah, damn it. I hope I made an impression still. Coming or Ada, wait! When we were here with as Kevin, that car wasn't there. Oh, she doesn't give a fuck about you, Leon. <laughs> Let me tell you, I know the type. Is that? A... Yeah, we don't have space any for it anyway. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. There's no guys here. Somebody let them out. Uh, let's take the blue one and mix it in here. And the green one, uh, so we have a uh, three piece mixture here. Good. And I could have let the small keys behind, but I didn't. Let me guess. You must be Ben, right? Get up. Now. Get the fuck out of here. What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. That's right. Kick it in. Just pry the bars open. Is this the guy? Ben? You told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? And who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella, based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. What was that? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're going to have to leave with me. But do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. All right, I'm going. Ada, wait. Please. But we're gonna get a chest, uh, or a box, item box, get really soon, so I'm pretty positive we can, we can work something out. Yeah. As a kid, to me, it made perfect sense. Uh, like uh, th this cell is is uh, built so that nobody comes in or out, except he he or she or it has the keys for it. Would have been my perfect solution, but then again, I can't get out either. How is anyone supposed to find me? Now I have to think if there was something in these dark cages, but I don't think so. The 
it's one of these things that I kind of get mixed up when I play these games. Okay, before we proceed, I need to make space. And now we get the key with the three leaf clover. Uh, no, we leave it as it is. This is pretty much the same thing we had with Sherry, but only with Ada. You know what? Let me get one of these. So we have something for later, because we will have to go down to the sewer. Yeah, this is pretty good equipment. We can stay like this. And it's pouring outside. Just so you know. Ah, fuck! We could have done something here. Ah, fuck it. If we get out. It will trigger the cutscene, I think. Ada? Yep. I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. Like I give a fuck? Dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go and check. How cute. That little girl must have dropped this. I think I'll hold on to it for her. So this is pretty much what happened when Sherry ran away from Claire. When she couldn't get back up. This is where she landed. Gangster shots doing some damage, let me tell you. Stay down. Oh, it, she, she likes the pendant so much, she will just wear it. go down there because in this scenario the, the <coughs> ammo will be down here it's only seven shots but having them and not having them make can make quite the difference see this is where the place where Sherry run away from Claire hey Miss Redfield Anyone there? No? Okay. And the puzzle's the same. So we just uh, jump forward in time to the solution.
And now the lover boy can open up every door, every last door in the police station. And we can get out of there. I think the uh, police station is a little shorter than the one in scenario A, but the laboratory will be kind of longer for that matter. Leon, can you hear me? Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Think fast. Here's one more. Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. What? Ada, wait! Leon, come in. I found the girl, and I cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Got it. And that's the way. Uh, when we would have played Leon first, Leon would have called Claire and tell tell her that she can reach this place now, or the back end of uh, of the police station at the garage, because now we have to go and find a crank to lower these stairs. Uh, yeah, now we can do this because if we use those three now, there are three more items that we can take on our way when we finish up the police station, which should happen in next in the next ten minutes. We need to go to those those two doors that are locked now and then we have to lower the stairs and we should be done something here then we can just nope Nothing here, and what about here? Nope, also nothing. Okay, let's go back. So, the two doors and the chief's office, that's where we need to go. to use a full heal just on a caution state where we can just use two herbs to to get fine status back but this fucking oh shit no 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 okay fuck that noise and two dogs are always dangerous 
find a nice corner and then shoot from there because if they can go around you they will and then you have one in front of you and one in the back and that's in general not a good situation to have and this is one of the doors so it's not just the two doors upstairs but also this one A oh, fucking liquors. Ah, yeah, yeah. I have to. I think I'll. I'll have to find my way out of here. At least one liquor has to go. Holy shit! That was close. Now, now we have this key card, and this will give us some nice access to the armory. Nice magnum rounds, good, 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 because in this playthrough we will fight some tough bosses, let me tell ya. Mr. X isn't the only thing chasing us here, we'll have to fight Mr. X, uh, William, and uh, most and stronger forms of those two. We'll take the bag. Yeah. Um, which is uh, which is which which can be pretty tough if you don't have the proper equipment, and those two will come in very short intervals of each other, so better be prepared. But these are the last stretch stretches of the police station. Then again, it will be the source, and then the lab. Well, I'm kind of, kind of surprised, still, that there are no zombies here. Normally there would be a magnum here in this place, but since we already took it, there is only ammo for it. The, do you have something for me, Mr. Officer, sir? No? Okay. Uh, where do we where will we be if we go here this is the place so we will hit up the mayor's office first yep that's the better way because we will need to go to a item box to, we need an item box right now because we don't have anything to heal ourselves and there will be some tough encounters coming in so that's better I think if we do this this way around and I think we can go pretty deep into this I think even into the taxidermy room and there will be some ammo for us 